Hello everyone, welcome to the video on AP RSET 2021 Pharmacology Questions and Answer Explanation. Now, AP RSET will have two papers, Part A and Part B. Part A is common paper for all the subjects which is known as research methodology, whereas Part B is of subject one. Now, in today's video, in pharmacy subject, I will explain about pharmacology questions which are given in AP RSET 2021. Now these questions are impo important for all the competitive exams like GPAT, NIPER, Drug Inspector and Pharmacist related government examination. This is my YouTube channel, just type in my name G Sairajesh in YouTube, you will get my channel. And in my channel there are more than 250 videos related to pharmacy subject. If you like the video, do subscribe and share. Let's get into the topic. Now, <clears throat> the question is, following receptors are membrane proteins except? See, the question asks about, there are four options are there. Out of four, three are membrane receptors, but one is not membrane receptor, and we need to find what is it. Look at the options. Receptors for fast neurotransmitters coupled directly to an ion channel. Now, see, if, if this is the membrane, ion channels will be placed like this. So, the, there is a channel through which ions can pass and they are membrane proteins because they are at the surface of membrane. So first one is a membrane protein. The question asks about except one. So first one is not the one. Second option. Receptors for many hormones and slow transmitters coupled to an effector system. Now understand this one. Now see there are certain receptors known as G protein coupled receptors. Now coupled means they are coupled with a protein which is present inside the cell and once this receptor is activated this coupled proteins will get activated uh, uh, that activation system is what is known as effector system so these are typically known as G protein coupled receptors which are also present at membrane so we are looking at except membrane receptors so this option is also not true Moving to the next one. Receptor for insulin and various growth factors which are directly linked to tyrosine kinase. Again, tyrosine kinase linked receptors are, will be like this. They are at the <coughs> membrane junction and they are linked to certain enzymes. So they are also present at membrane. So they are also membrane proteins. So what is the leftover one? Receptors for steroidal hormones. Understand this word. Steroidal hormones, because of their steroidal nature, they can easily pass through this membrane, get inside the cell and they will act on receptors which are known as cytoplasmic receptors or some of the steroid hormones directly goes and binds with DNA which is present inside the, see DNA which is present inside the nucleus to that certain steroidal hormones bind and show their activity. For example, glucocorticoids bind to DNA, the receptor is known as glucocorticoid response element. So these receptors are not present at the membrane. So the option 4 is the correct one. Now moving to the next one. <clears throat> now interferons can be described as a substance which. Now see interferons are typically proteins which, which will activate a cell, stimulate a cell and because of this stimulation cell will be producing certain immune mediators which will fight with viral replication, which will inhibit viral replication. So as such interferons will not attack the virus, they activate the cell to produce proteins which will attack virus. Now we need to look for that option. Interfere with release of virus? No. Interfere with viral adsorption onto the cell membrane? No. Induce production of proteins that interfere with translation of virus? Yes. As such they will not act, they activate cell so that proteins are synthesized that will act on virus. Now block the penetration of virus into susceptible cells? No. So interferons induce production of proteins that interfere with translation of virus. Because they are interfering with translation, they are, they are called as interferons. Now, <clears throat> next one. Now, histamine involved in the asthmatic inflammation is present in the following cell. Now see, histamine is a chemical mediator. It is widely present in two cells. One, it is widely present in mast cells. The other one is basophils. So these are the major sources of histamines. Now see, all the options, eosinophil, T lymphocytes, basophils, macrophages, all of them are immune mediators. Out of them, the major reservoir for histamine is basophil here. The other one is mast cell. Moving to the next one. Now, 
Which among the following is an example of PGI2? Prostacycline PGI2 means. Let us look every option. See, all prostatil is an analog of PGE1. This is a very good smooth muscle relaxant. So it relaxes smooth muscle. So it is used as a smooth muscle relaxant. <clears throat> now the next one. Dinoproston. It is an analog of PGE2. PGE2 a very example for oxytocic. So usually it is used for induction of labor. During pregnancies it is used. Now epoprostinol. Now this is our answer. Epoprostinol is an analog of PGI2 or prostacycline. Now it has got two functions. It inhibits platelet activation and it is also a good vasodilator. So this is the answer. Now let us see the other one. What is this mesoprostol? Mesoprostol also PGE1 analog but it is specifically used to treat ulcer. It is an anti-ulcer drug. <clears throat> it will increase the mucus formation so that ulcer will be controlled. So this is it. So PGI2 analog is epoprostinol. Moving to the next one. Now see the question is given like this. Dipirephrin is a prodrug of but in fact it is dipivephrine. Now dipivephrine is a prodrug of adrenaline or epinephrine. Both of them are same. Adrenaline, epinephrine, both of them are same and which is widely used to treat glaucoma. Now see, look at the options. Adrenaline, noradrenaline, ephedrine, isoprenin. All of them are sympathomimetics. Mimetic means it imitates the action of sympathetic neurotransmitter that is <coughs> noradrenaline and adrenaline. So anything which imitates the action of these uh, neurotransmitter and hormone are called as sympathomimetics. Now in this, dipivephrine is a prodrug of adrenaline or epinephrine which is used to treat glaucoma. Moving to the next one. See, this is an interesting one. See, the parasitic form of plasmodium transmitted from mosquito to human is. Let us understand the various stages. Now, <clears throat> malaria is caused by a mosquito bite. When mosquito bites, the plasmodium in the form of sporozoids get into human body. It goes into liver. In the liver, it develops as merozoid. Once it develops as merozoid, it attacks blood cells. In the blood cells, it develops as trophozoid. And then it converts into gametocytes, which again gets into the mosquito and starts sexual cycle. Now, in between, there is a stage called as hypnozoid. These are dormant stages of plasmodia, which stays in liver. Relapse of malaria is because of hypnozoid. So we need to remember these things. Sporozoid, merozoid, trophozoid, gametocytes and hypnozoid. Now, what is the question? The parasitic form of plasmodium transmitted from mosquito to humans. This is sporozoid. So this is what is sporozoid is. Understand the stages. Merozoid, which is developed from the liver, gets into the blood. Gametocytes are this, which we are ready to get into the mosquito and start sexual cycle. Now, hypnozoid is a relapse. Uh, it, may, it is a kind of uh, spotulated form. And it stays inside as dormant in liver. And it causes relapsing malaria. Next one. <clears throat> Now, which among the following anti-tubercular drug acts by inhibiting DNA-dependent RNA polymerase of mycobacteria? Let us understand about this drug. See, etambutal, anti-TB drug, which, against, which acts against cell wall of mycobacterium. Isoniazid, this is also anti-tubercular drug, which inhibits the formation of mycolic acid. Mycolic acid is one of the components of cell wall, so indirectly it is also inhibiting cell wall of TB organism. Pyrazinamide inhibits cell membrane of TB organism. Now, rifampicin is one what inhibits DNA-dependent RNA polymerase of mycobacterium. Look at the options. All of them are anti-TB drugs, but specifically, rifampin is one which inhibits DNA-dependent RNA polymerase of mycobacteria. Going to the next one. <clears throat> now, following are nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, except, see, reverse transcriptase is an enzyme which is required for the survival of HIV virus, human immunodeficiency virus. So this enzyme can be inhibited by two types of drugs. One, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors or non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Now out of them, see, except, that means three of them are NRTs, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. What are they? Abacavir. Yes, it is nucleoside reverse transcriptase, zidovudine. Yes, it is nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor, lamivudine. 
Nevirapine belongs to this category, non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. So accept question, the answer is this one, nevirapine. Moving to the next one. <clears throat> now see again, which among the following is not useful for HAART? Highly active antiretroviral. Highly active antiretroviral therapy is what is HAART? H a a r t e s now so this is a combination of three drugs are used to treat hiv infection so all the hiv classes will be there now look at that things see nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors non nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitors protease inhibitors all of them are anti hiv drugs except nsaid look this nsaid non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs like aspirin, paracetamol, ibuprofen, all of them belong to NSAID. They are nowhere related to HRT, HAART. See, the question is not useful. So, this is the right answer. So, these are all the questions which are given in uh, AP Answer 2021. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, do subscribe and share. Thank you for watching this video.